Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generate Press and Generate Blocks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this dynamic page hero with a block element and Generate Blocks. So here we have the post title, an introductory paragraph which is added with a custom field, categories which are linked to the category archives, the published or updated date, followed by the feature image as the background image. Let's get started. First, let's go to Dashboard, Plugins, and make sure we have GP version 2.0, currently Alpha 5, installed and activated. We also need Generate Blocks. Now, I will also quickly show you that in this post, I have a custom field named page hero intro with our introductory paragraph added. Let's go to elements, add new, and create our block element. Under the element type, we will select page hero and we will disable the default title, feature image, and primary post meta, which are these elements here. We will be adding them inside our page hero. Now let's start by adding our first container and configure the settings starting with spacing. Then we'll add a background color to our container. Now inside the container, we will add a grid wrapper. Let's go with 50-50. Inside the first container, we will add a headline block. Set it to H1. Open up dynamic options. Text type will be title. Now let's configure it starting with typography. Then we'll set the bottom margin to zero. and change the text color. Now let's also add a headline block in the second container. We will go with a simple div for this one. Open up dynamic options. Text type will be post meta. Field name will be page hero intro to access our custom field. Let's style it starting with typography again. Then move on to spacing. Then colors. Now let's select the container which holds the headline and set it to text align right. Now let's add a container below the grid. The first thing we'll do is to upload a background image in order to access the dynamic background image option. Open up dynamic options, dynamic background image, we will use the featured image. Now let's configure the spacing options.
then set our text and link color. Now we're ready to add another grid inside the container. We will start with a full grid. Select a container and set it to 50%. Inside the container, we'll add a headline block. Select div, open up dynamic options, text type list of terms, tax category, and change our term separator. Let's go to typography. Then spacing. and change the background color and border color. Let's also add an icon. Now let's select the container which holds the headline and duplicate it. Set it to text align right. Select the headline. Open up dynamic options. Change to post date. We'll go with publish date and replace with the updated date. Add some before text. I'm actually going to modify the transform to default. Same as the terms. Switch the border from right to left. And switch an icon. Let's head back to the container on the very outside and add it a shape. To move the feature image to the front, we will select the container which holds the feature image. Open up spacing and set the outer index to 2. Next, we will select the container which holds the title and give it a, some right padding so the title appears narrower same as the post meta Lastly, we will select the grid and set the vertical alignment to center. Adding our display rules to post, all post, 
publish or update and take a look. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.